Cups. Back home, they have won six in a row, coming off an eight and one road trip. Offense, offense, and more offense is fun to watch. Yeah, this is what it looks like when just about the whole lineup gets hot. Team OPS over that stretch of 927 is incredible. We take a look at uh, JMO 292 uh, ERA here at Wrigley Field this year. Lately, the work has not been quite as sharp. Four or more runs allowed in each of his last four starts. In the air right fielder Bellinger waits. One up and one down. On the ground right at Nico. Another two down. Tyone works his motion. High leg kick and pitch. Cruz bounces one on the right side. Fielded on the outfield grass by Horner. Slings to the first baseman Bush for out number three. And that's that. A one two three inning for Jamison Tyone to begin the ball game. We head to the last of the first. See Jared's just the uh, 17 starts. He's been quite a while on the I.L. Swing and a pop up. Into that evening sky. Who wants it? It's going to be the shortstop Alika Williams there tonight on the right side of the diamond. Makes the catch one out. And there's Alika Williams. Two outs. 3 2 coming. Strike three call, a delayed decision. And Suzuki strikes out looking. To end the inning, we're through one from Chicago. Something to pay attention to with Jamison Tyone on his lower back. After the first half inning, he went down into the dugout with trainers. After the second inning, trainers came up with a back brace heating up his back. So it looks like they're trying to keep his back loose. Be Jared Triolo to lead it off. Checks in to tonight's action at 204 with six home runs. And a good start as Jared Triolo singles maybe off the glove of the diving third baseman Isak Paredes. Triolo had two hits in three at bats off Tyone last Monday, including a triple and a single, an RBI ground out. Lika Williams getting a start at short today. And that one hit in the air out towards right center. Pete Crow Armstrong makes the catch, fires on the move. And they're not able to double the runner off of first. PCA. With his momentum taking him towards the first baseline, that throw kind of tailed on him a little bit. A little frustrated with himself. Trillo not sure exactly how to play this one. Makes it pretty much all the way to second base. Second and third, two outs. See if Ryan Reynolds can take advantage of this. Now the 1-1. One -one. A bouncing ball to third, backing up, fielding Paredes. Sidearm throw to first, this time on target to get Reynolds for out number three and the Pirates leave two in scoring position middle three Parker with us here in the booth how are you buddy I'm good how are you real good um, you know you won this and your call was amazing I did not tell you that before I thought it was absolutely amazing yeah um, we were just sitting on the couch and uh, I was like Man, that was a nuke. So let's. Go. And then, and then you you see a commercial, and me and my dad went out to the garage and we recorded it. Look at this! Oh, yeah. hits one out. Let's go, Atta boy! Dansby Swanson will touch them all, and it's oh. one nothing. It's a left field corner. Dansby catches this one a little bit off the end of the bat, but not totally, and hits it in about the second row in straight left field. Big. Swing of the bat for the Cubs and Dansby Swanson. What was it like playing catch with PCA? It's so fun. It, like I've done it before with Palencia. Uh, we were out in the bleachers, and it's just like fun to it's to react with a baseball player playing catch. It's like a dream come true. Maya's been doing pretty good lately. And a swing and a miss. Parker, are you familiar with the concept of the broadcaster jinx? You no. ever heard that? No. Like if a broadcaster, if we start talking somebody's great, 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 then they make an out. Something like that. The opposite happens. So welcome. You just were talking about how good Amaya's been, and he just struck out. So welcome. You joined the <laughs> just joined the club. Parker, don't listen to him. He's trying to say it's your fault. And there are two aboard. Two away. And Ian Happ do up with two away. Happ bounces that one. Fair ball down the line. It's gonna score two. It's gonna get into the corner. Ian on the move, racing for third. And he's got a two run triple. It's three nothing. Ian Happ, as he's done so often here lately, jumping on that first pitch and doing so effectively. A little cutter whacked into the right field corner. Tyone has been excellent here. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three as Tyone gets McCutcheon with the fastball. 
Three nothing the Cubs lead one out and a man in scoring position for Jared Triolo. And here it is. Chop towards first and Bush makes a play. Tayo gets over. Oh Michael Bush gorgeous play. A tough hop and a nice rangy play by Bush. Well Henry Davis. Popped up foul territory off to the right. Jamison Tayo makes a running grab. Halfway between home and first in foul territory for out number three. Just like that, Pirates with the threat here in the eighth. Pirates have gone 21 consecutive innings without an extra base hit, so they are overdue. Fly ball, left center field, deep toward the wall, and clear the deck. Cannonball coming. Brian Reynolds anchor down. B Ray ties it with his 22nd home run. It goes opposite field. Don't have to worry about that win. Took it to left. Just got it over the wall. Now that one might have been 370. McCutcheon, 13 game hitting streak. Swing, fly ball, deep left field. McCutcheon gets into this one. And there it goes. Andrew McCutcheon gives the Pirates the lead. A four run eighth inning in Chicago. And the Pirates are on top. Boy, just when you think you're done, you know, you come on the road, things aren't going well, doing nothing offensively through seven. And now four hits, four runs, two bombs. Triolo still at second with two gone now. And it's up to Nick Gonzalez to knock him in. 4-3, Pirates lead in the ninth. Here's a liner pass, Bush into right base hit. Triolo tags third, he's coming up to score. And the throw goes all the way, rattling around behind home plate. And Gonzalez goes from first to second to third on Bellinger's throwing error. RBI hit for Nick Gonzalez, 5-3, Pirates in the ninth. Yeah, that's a huge hit right there. He's so good at going the other way. Interesting is right before that pitch, they were yelling at Bellinger to move in, move in. And, and he's, he moved in about five or six steps as the pitch was being thrown. Still didn't matter. It's Dennis Santana trying for his fourth career save. He's got two this year. They were both with the Yankees. The Cubs down to their final out. And here comes Dansby Swanson. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's the ball game. Felt like a comfortable lead. Slip away. A tough loss for the Cubs here tonight. And raise the Jolly Roger. Dennis Santana, one, two, three. Picks up his first Pirate save, fourth of his career. Bucks come back and deal the Cubs that gut punch we talked about. Yeah, this is a, definitely a little revenge game for what went on in our place to, to snatch this one away.